welcome back. We're gonna take a look at another limiting reaction problem. And the cool thing about this type of problem is not only can we identify the limiting reactant, but we can also determine the exact amount of reactant that should be left over at the end of a reaction. So let's read this problem. It says, if 25 grams of lithium reacts with 25 grams of bromine, how much lithium bromide is formed? How much excess reactant is left at the end of the reaction? So our first step is the same as always, to write out the balanced equation. Write out the balanced equation. Our second step is determine the limiting reactant. So determine which reactant produces the smallest amount of product. So let's go ahead and write out our reaction. I know I have lithium and bromine, and bromine will always be diatomic because it's a halogen, forming lithium bromide. Let's double check that this is balanced. I have two bromines on the left-hand side, so I need two on the right-hand side, which means I need a two in front of my lithium. So now that we have the balanced equation, let's figure out which is our limiting reactant. I have 25 grams of lithium. The first step is always to change that into moles. So one mole of lithium over the molar mass of lithium. So if we look on the periodic table, we see that's about 6.94 grams. And then the last thing we have to do is use our molar ratio. I want to know how much lithium bromide is produced. My coefficient there is two, so two moles of lithium bromide over two moles of lithium. And I put lithium bromide on top because I want my units to cancel out grams cancel grams, moles of lithium and moles of lithium, and I'm left with moles of lithium bromide. So I have 25 divided by 6.94, which is 3.6 moles of lithium bromide. Let's see how much lithium bromide bromine would produce, 25.0 grams one mole of bromine and notice bromine is diatomic which means i have to take the mass of two bromine atoms so looking on the periodic table the mass is 79.9 and i'm going to multiply that by two which is 159.8 grams and the last step is to look at my molar ratios again i have a two in front of libr and I do not have a coefficient, so that means I have one mole of bromine. So 25 divided by 159.8 and multiply that by two, which gives me 0 0.312 moles of lithium bromide that were produced. So let's take a look at our question again. We want to know how much lithium bromide is formed. So I'm gonna put that amount into grams, so 0 0.312 moles of lithium bromide. Put that into grams, so one mole goes on the bottom. And my mass of lithium bromide is 79.9 plus 6.94, which is 86.8 grams. So I multiply that together, and that gives me 27.1 grams of lithium bromide that were formed. And remember, this is our theoretical yield. It's the maximum amount of product that could be made based on our limiting reactant. And just as a refresher, we chose this amount because it's the smaller amount of product. The limiting reactant produces the smallest amount of product because it's completely used up during the reaction. We're left with lithium in excess at the end of this reaction. And the question actually asks us to solve for how much excess reactant is left. 
We can easily do that. We know that we have made 0.312 moles of lithium bromide. That's how much product was created during this reaction based off of the limiting reactant. So I want to know how much lithium is needed to make 0.312 moles of lithium bromide. So what I'm going to do is take my 0.312 moles of lithium bromide and I'm going to see how much lithium is actually needed to produce this much product. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at my molar ratio. Remember, it's a 2 to 2 ratio. This time, though, 2 moles of lithium goes on top because I want to know how much lithium was used to make this amount of product. 2 moles of lithium bromide goes on the bottom. And I do want this in grams, so I'm going to put 1 mole on the bottom and 6.94 grams on top. So I have 0 0.312 times 6.94, and that equals 2.17 grams of lithium. So this means that only 2.17 grams of lithium were needed to produce this much product. We used all of our bromine, we used all 25 grams of our bromine, but we only used 2.17 grams of lithium. And we can find out exactly how much was in excess by taking the amount of lithium we started with, which was 25 grams, 25.0 grams, minus the amount that was used to make our product. So 25 minus 2.17 gives us 22.83 grams of lithium left in excess at the end of our reaction and we can round this to 22.8 grams of lithium left at the end of our reaction so just to recap we solved this problem by first writing out our balanced equation and then we figured out our limiting reactant based on which reactant made the smaller amount of product we found out exactly how much product was found in grams and then we can use our product to figure out how much of our excess reactant we used, subtract that from our original amount of reactant to find out how much is left over. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, be sure and leave a comment. If you're still struggling with this topic, take a look at some other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.